Welcome to the One Room Rigid Bash. One Room Rigid Bash was a game I made in a one week game jam at the University of Canterbury. The theme was One Room, and I mainly wanted to experiment with combining rollable gameplay with like action RPG combat systems. Um, I thought the initial game was somewhat interesting, so I thought that as part of a course I was taking at the time, an artificial intelligence and procedural generation course, I could kind of expand it out and add my own procedural dungeon generation system. So this video is just me documenting how this process went and what I learnt. The conventional way for procedural dungeon generation to be implemented is to generate a graph and then produce a dungeon from a series of building blocks that matches this graph. You can see this process here, where differing dungeon structures are produced which still conform to the given graph. Being naturally bloody minded, I decided I was going to be special and discard this. Uh, my dungeon generation is entirely floating point based, uh, it uses a Poisson distribution to place dungeon rooms randomly and then tries to connect everything together using corridors after the fact. I call this the crazed architect approach and it introduces quite a few problems as you'll come to see, though it is somewhat unique. To start with, the dungeon generator places a starting room and then picks random points around it which follow the Poisson distribution. At each of these found points it attempts to place a room of random size and it'll continue this process until it has placed the number of rooms that should exist on that floor. This is the first pass of the algorithm, and once it's done, we're left with a series of randomly sized rooms spaced somewhat evenly distance apart. Collision testing for this project is done through the use of axis-aligned bounding boxes. I wrote my own implementation for this project, which has been very useful for debugging. Axis-aligned bounding boxes are great because they are not very complex, and the computer finds them quite easy to work with. I'm using a simple version of the separating axis theorem for the detection of my collisions. Uh, each piece of geometry within the dungeon, from the walls and the floors to the rooms and corridors, all have their own axis aligned bounding boxes, which makes it very easy to check for intersecting geometry on a dungeon wide scale. The second pass of the algorithm involves the drawing of corridors between rooms. Each room has four doorways, one in the centre of each wall, and it tries to find valid paths from that doorway to any nearby doorways. This draws corridors outwards from rooms that are connected to the starting room, ensuring there's always a valid path back towards the entrance. The third pass of the algorithm involves picking unused doorways at random and trying to get them to connect to other nearby doorways. This adds in some shortcuts to the dungeon layout and makes it a bit more interesting. The fourth path of the algorithm is where rooms not connected to the main dungeon are culled. This means that the number of rooms on each floor is actually slightly random, which is really not the best and is probably the biggest weakness with this algorithm. The fifth and final pass is where the algorithm goes over all the rooms that have been generated and assigns them a type. Each room type can dictate some additional geometry and gameplay functionality. To demo this, I've set it up so that we have standard rooms, an entrance room, an exit room, and three crystal rooms, which house crystals that the player has to destroy to remove the force field from the exit room so they can move to the next floor. You should note that this stage has to be done in the last phase of the dungeon generation algorithm, as we don't know how many rooms are actually going to be on this floor until we've run the culling pass. I was able to extend my axis aligned bounding box implementation so that I could conduct boolean operations where a given box uh, subtracts another given box so that it's split into multiple smaller boxes. This is very very useful for carving out doorways and rooms and is definitely something I'd like to look more into in the future. Looking forward I'll definitely be experimenting with more procedural generation. The YouTube channel Vazgris has a fantastic video explaining an implementation of graph based procedural dungeons which helped me plan out my code architecture. In future, I'd like to try and take my crazed architect algorithm and apply it to tighter, more close-knit spaces like you can see in this video.